right, I'm going to do a walkthrough of the trailer I built for travel this coming summer. And uh, it's got one window up here. And it has a, what we call a split system air conditioner, which just runs on 110. It's mounted to the front. You can see my smokestack up there. And down here is where we keep the fuel tank. You can see that in there. That's for the heater. And the hitch. And the plug-in for the electric. The air conditioner has its own plug-in. Walk around here. Here's my pickup truck that I'm going to use to pull it. It's a new 150 with a 3.5 V6, 400 horsepower. I'm in the process of seeing if I can get a F-250. I'm waiting on a call back from the dealer to see what kind of price they're going to give me. Might be too much though. Those things are very expensive. And over here we got our door where we go in. And we have our usual signs on there. Beware of the dog. Warning. The owner of this property is crazy and will shoot you. And there's one of our latches. And it has a swing over latch for when we're traveling. And anybody puts a swing on latch on your trailer when you're in it, you don't want somebody locking you in. So you have to have another lock space over here so you can lock your latch open. This is a dual axle trailer, 14 foot by seven foot. And down here is a little trick I learned from another guy I've seen on YouTube. Well, the snake I got, because I like snakes. That's Herman. There's a set of female flip-flops. And there's my flip-flops. Now, I travel alone, so you're wondering why I got female flip-flops. The reason is being is... If I pull up to an RV park and I get spot out and we take a walk... And um, somebody comes up and says, oh, the man left his trailer. Let's go break into it. Well, they come up and they say, oh, shit, there's some uh, female flip-flops here. Must be a girl inside. Never mind. Where are you going to break in? And we got a spot in here throwing a fit. And so we'll go inside and see what it looks like in here. Watch out, spot. So I built this whole trailer. It was just nothing but a empty cargo trailer when I got it. So up front here, we have a TV. It's on a swivel mount. We've got the electrics. This is a computer monitor I can hook my computer up to and watch TV at the same time if I had to. My solar system. I have 400 watts of solar up top, which runs this whole thing. The only thing that doesn't run on electric is the microwave and the air conditioner. There's my uh, inverter. So I can run the TVs, my computer, and everything off of that, off of the 12 volt batteries I have down here. I have my alarm system down there for the propane. Some different things in here. Here's my inverter AC unit that powers the air conditioner into here. I should say blows the air conditioner into here. Thing is, well, this thing is so quiet the only way you can tell it's running is to put your hand up and feel the air coming in. It freezes it out in here. It's unbelievable. I put in a little propane stove. It runs on propane, no electric needed, with my stack going up. And you've seen it from the outside, the stack. I tested it out, and it does not heat up the roof or anything close to it. And then I have my outlets I put in here that are 12 volt and down here is 110 if I want to run something on 110 that's hooked to the outside um, what else we got got my signs we got my straps these straps are for strapping down the cabinets and I run a strap over so they don't fly open during while I'm driving and um, there's the microwave I have 12 volt lamps in here. I have big bright lights, which are normally off, but I have them on for this video. 
a little fan blows on the stack of the heater when it's running. It disperses the air around in here. Have a little cabinet I bought to set my iPad on and my uh, other junk while I'm sitting in my recliner. Man has to have a recliner. So I got my, this thing here is on a long pole. I don't know how far it really goes out, but I take it outside, strap it on the trailer and um, it extends the phone. So in other words, if it's a real weak signal, I can put that up and then inside here, that little gadget right there is the antenna and right there behind the strap is the brains for it. And what it does, it boosts the power of the cell phone signal up into this and then my cell phone picks it up off of that and so if I'm out somewhere where I say only get one bar or even no bars, I think I'll bump it up to about three or four bars, which is kind of nice. And back in here is the bathroom. I got the toilet, the sink, and if you'll notice, it's up on a stand. And people say, why you got it up on a stand? Well, this trailer, since it's a cargo trailer, is too low to put the tank underneath so the tanks under the stand and the toilets on that feeding down into it so it's the only way I could do it and so I have to get up on the stand to use the toilet but anyway it works you got your dual medicine cabinets got your inside outside temperature uh, there's your vent pipe for the toilet and uh, everything else another set of cabinets another window um, here's my refrigerator and got your refrigerator and that'll actually freeze stuff if you set it on that I set it down to about 34 degrees there's where I keep my water for drinking here's water for the sink to wash your hands and whatnot and it feeds to the toilet too and you have a switch here that you turn on for the pump and um, down there's the pump and the plumbing this thing here is the pipe coming out of the tank down and out the side so I can hook up to a sewer system when I'm in an RV park I try to stay away from RV parks as much as possible but every once in a while I do and then I can empty my tanks and whatnot there's my old construction company sign that I used to run or own I should say this is the bed, it's a, it's a single bed and it folds down. It's got a back in there, it has, a, it has a, the mechanisms to let it fold down. At a table in here I put outside when I'm stop. I put my grill and stuff on it when I'm cooking. Um, I have a bunch of flags I put up, depending on what mood I'm in. Second Amendment, Maryland flag, dumb flag. Uh, I got the United States flag back in here somewhere. And um, there's a stand for the pole for to hold the booster up, telephone booster. These poles here are for my um, awning outside. I put an awning in it on the system, on the trailer, I should say. And this is pretty much it. I got a little fan. On and remember, beer does not have a lot of vitamins, so you have to drink a lot of it, and that's very true. I've got my beer opener right there. Um, but anyway, this is my trailer. This is made just for traveling. It's very light. Pickup pulls it like it's not even back there. I already took it to California once. And you see I have a Lincoln Highway sign. My plans this summer is in March to go up to Gettysburg, which I grew up in that area. where. It, and uh, the Lincoln Highway doesn't start there. It starts in New York City, but I'm not driving way up there. But it does go through Gettysburg. I'm going to go up to Gettysburg, get on it, and take it all the way out to San Francisco. And they have these signs on the old Lincoln Highway the whole way out there. And it's actually Route 30. And now, it used to be called Lincoln Highway. Now it's Route 30. 
there is an interstate beside it because some of it's gone and you have to take part of it in the interstate. I will be putting uh, videos up every couple days once I start the trip of the trip out to San Francisco. And um, so that'll be interesting. You guys can uh, subscribe to my channel when I put it up. It'll let you know. And uh, let me show you one more thing outside here. I forgot to show you. Watch out, Spot. I don't know if you can make it out, but there's these little clasp up there. That's what holds my awning up. And my and my awning is nothing but a tarp. I got it Lowe's. And um, I hook it on there and use those paint poles to hold it up out here. It makes a nice awning. It's cheap. Um, if it gets ripped or torn up, I actually have another one in there so I can just unhook it and hook the hooks back in it and so it works out pretty good so just giving you an overview of my trailer and uh, i'll be putting some more videos up fairly soon so thanks for watching